All right. So, for the next um, type of infection we should be looking at, that's on the female side. We'll be looking at what is known as a chlamydia infections. Chlamydia infection. Sorry, let me just repair this fan. Okay. So, for the chlamydia infections, you know, uh, it could be infections that could actually affect both sexes, though, you know. Although on this channel, we're talking about things that kind of like relate more to the female side, you know. So, just so you know, it's one of the most common sexually transmitted infections worldwide, all right. So, it's caused by what a bacteria known as what Chlamydia trachomatis. It's caused by Chlamydia trachomatis, all right. So it's often called a silent infection because many people don't experience symptoms yet. It is causing you issues to when it now shows up, everything is actually at the dying minute, you know. So how does it spread? Maybe through vaginal sex, through anal sex, you know, through oral sex. With someone who has the infection, you know. So it can also be passed from mother to baby during childbirth, okay. Then also, um, when people are sharing um, sex toys, you know. So, um, common symptoms is, uh, most people don't even notice symptoms, you know. But at, if you are having symptoms, you have things like what? Unusual vaginal discharge, pain during sex, bleeding between periods. So it's not your period, but you are still bleeding, you know. Pelvic pain. So for men, you can have discharge from the penis, burning sensation when they are trying to urinate, testicular pain, right? So other areas is what? Rectal pain, discharge, sore throat, right? Eye redness or discharge if transmitted to the eye, all right? So diagnosis is typically done through a urine test or swap from the affected area. Regular screening is recommended, especially for sexually active individuals under 25, those with multiple partners. So treatment, you can use antibiotics, like dosicycline or azithromycin. Then avoid sexual activity on, until treatment is complete. And as they are treating you, they should be treating your partner too. Do you understand? Because there's possibility of reinfection if they don't treat your partner. So complications, if you don't treat a chlamydia infection and you leave it to actually progress further, it can cause things like pelvic inflammatory disease in women, epididymitis in men, increased risk of contracting or transmitting HIV and AIDS, eye infection and pneumonia in newborns. I mean, the mother can transfer it to the newborn, okay? So that's it for this.